So this is the parasternal short axis scan for cardiac ultrasound. So from the parasternal, and once again, you want the patient in left lateral DQ, submit to a parasternal long axis scan. And from the long axis scan, you're going to turn 90 degrees clockwise. So now the indicator is towards the patient's left shoulder. For this scan, you want to identify the left ventricle and the right ventricle. This is the mid portion of the left ventricle or the mid papillary view of the short axis scan. In this view, you can actually see regional wall motion abnormality. So for a patient with, you're thinking they might have a heart attack or an old heart attack, they might have some hypokinesis of the certain segments of the heart in this view. When you tilt your probe more superiorly towards the patient's head, you'll see the mitral valve. Here's a mitral valve with the anterior and posterior leaflet of the mitral valve, and this is also called the fish mouth view. If you tilt even more superiorly, you will see the aortic valve. Here. And you can see this patient has three cusps in the aortic valve, and this is sometimes called the Mercedes Benz sign. Other structures you can view in this image are the tricuspid valve the right atrium, the right ventricular outflow tract, as well as the left atrium. So I'm going to tilt him a little bit far farther, and sometimes you can actually see the pulmonic valve as well as the pulmonary artery. And here we can start to get a glimpse of that as it comes down, but you can see that there are lung shadows that sometimes obstruct the view, but you can actually see his pulmonic valve, main pulmonary artery, as it branches into the right and left pulmonary arteries.